Enforcement, pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, PL 1975, adequate notice as defined by Section 3D of Chapter 231, PL 1975, has been made by regular mail and email, such notice being submitted on January 4th, 2023, from the Administrative Center of the County of Sussex, located at 1 Spring Street, Newton, New Jersey, to the following. New Jersey Herald and the Star Ledger. It's also posted on a bulletin board maintaining the Administrative Center for public announcements has been submitted to the Sussex County Clerk in compliance with said act. At this time, please mute all electronic devices. Number five is approval of the agenda. We need to amend the agenda uh, tonight as follows. Under 14 resolutions, we need to add item Y, a resolution authorizing the approval of a settlement agreement between the County of Sussex and the Sussex County Sheriff's Office and Paul Lee Obi. Motion to approve the agenda as amended. So moved. All, in, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Staying? Carries. All right. Oh, yeah. Number six, proclamations, certificates, presentations. We do have a proclamation of recognizing October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. That is going to be presented by Commissioner Space and Fantasia at their event on the 26th. Okay. okay. And we have another proclamation recognizing October October 2023 as Breast Cancer Awareness Yes, we Yeah, okay. Can't Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Same okay. thing? Are we going to read that now? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, I just first want to say we all know how important National Breast Cancer Awareness Month is and uh, just a quick little nice story. A few years ago, uh, listening to WSUS, they have a campaign, a radio campaign with Newton Memorial Hospital or Newton Medical Center, Atlantic Health, and they have this Ask Her thing and they go on and they talk about how you can sell free fur. So I've been doing it that way for the last few years because it's so much easier for busy people to just go online, book their own appointment, and insurance, if you, most insurance companies will cover it that way without a doctor's mm -hmm. referral. So I you know, scheduled mine this summer, it was easy to do, and then I was on the phone with Commissioner Fantasia, she did allow me to share this story, um, and I, she asked me what I was doing, I said, oh, I have my mammogram today, and she goes, oh, I have to call the doctor, I have to make an appointment, I said, hey, you can just go online and book your own appointment. So she went to, and now uh, we both will keep up with our mammograms that way. So just ask someone if they haven't done it and, you know, refer them and tell them how easy it is to make their own appointment. Okay, here's the proclamation. Proclamation, whereas breast cancer is a serious health threat to women and men across Sussex County, the state of New Jersey, and our nation, and whereas breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in women and the risk increases with age, and whereas breast cancer is typically detected either during a screening exam, before symptoms have developed, or after symptoms have developed, when a woman or man notices a change in their breasts, and Whereas screening, early detection, and prompt treatment can significantly reduce the suffering and deaths caused by this disease, and whereas increasing public awareness of this disease, including risk factors and symptoms, will help save the lives of women and men as they learn to recognize the warning signs, and whereas Sussex County Division of Health, Sussex Warren Chronic Disease Coalition of New Jersey, Cancer Education and Early Detection, NJ Seed program collaboratively promote National Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Susan G. Komen's Tie a Ribbon campaign throughout the month of October. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Sussex County Board of County Commissioners does hereby recognize the month of October 2023 as National Breast Cancer Awareness Month in Sussex County by order of the Board of County Commissioners. Chris Carney, Commissioner Director, Dawn Fantasia, Commissioner. William Hayden, Commissioner, Herbert Yardley, Deputy Commissioner, and Jill Space, Commissioner. And we have Ann Sullivan from the uh, Department of, uh, <coughs> or Division of Health to accept the proclamation. Nice. Is there anything you'd like to say?
holds monthly clinics and the public health nursing office provide daily services in conjunction with a licensed nurse practitioner. Over the past two years, the NJC program has helped over 100 patients achieve their annual screening and provide education on the importance of health care. The team also understands the importance of follow up and helps patients to schedule necessary diagnostic procedures if further testing is required, as well as sending the annual screening reminder card. Most recently, the grant has recognized the barriers to prevention and has provided funds for transportation to ensure all patients have the necessary access required to receive care. Again, we thank you for this proclamation and your continued support, support of prevention, early detection, and overall awareness of breast cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number seven is public hearing. There is none. Number eight, public session from the floor. This public session is for those wishing to make a comment of three minutes or less regarding an agenda item. Please line up at the microphone and state your name, municipality, <coughs> and agenda topic for the record. Motion to open the floor for public comment. So moved. Second. Space. Commissioner Hayden <coughs> seconds. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain carries. Is there anybody from the public that would like to make a comment on agenda items only? Sanderson, it's a 15A. You're sending the purpose of might be the one that might not have been available. It wasn't available, so we had to rescind it to do a different proclamation. That vehicle was not available. A good price, you said? Mm -hmm. That's oh, yeah. Probably, probably why it's probably not available. available. <laughs> <laughs> it also will be cheaper through the co-op. Co Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, seeing no one else, I get a motion to close the floor for public comment. So moved. Second. Mr. Hayden, Mr. Space, seconds. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Carries. Number nine is Commissioner Comments. We'll start with Commissioner Hayden. All right. Uh, for the Sussex County Library System, Dorothy Henry Branch of the Sussex County Library System to be temporarily closed for construction October 16th to the 28th. Sussex County Library System announces an upcoming construction project for the Dorothy Henry Branch in Vernon. Replace the HVA system. The branch will close Monday, October 16th, and is expected to open, reopen its doors to the public on Monday, October 30th. Book drops located at the branch will remain open during construction and be empty daily. Borrowers with outstanding hold requests will be contacted to arrange an alternate book location or extend their holds until the branch reopens. Sussex County Library System apologizes for any inconveniences caused by this temporary closure and asks for the community's understanding and patience during this period. Community members are encouraged to utilize the services and resources available at one of the five nearby branches, including the Wanage Branch, the Wanage Frank, uh, Franklin Branch, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, library card holders can still access the Sussex County Library System's extensive digital collection. So be patient with them. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Space. Division of Senior Services 2023 Caregiver Expo. The Division of Senior Services will host its annual Caregiver Expo at the Farmstead Golf and Country Club located at 88 Lawrence Road in Lafayette from 3.30 to 6.30 on Thursday, October 26, 2023. This event is designed to offer resources and support to caregivers. There will be a variety of health and human services providers, businesses and organizations that cater to the needs of seniors and their caregivers. To register your attendance or obtain additional information, please call the Division of Senior Services at 973-579-0555, extension 1277. Medicare Open Enrollment. The annual Medicare Open Enrollment period runs from October 15th through the December 7th, 2023. The Division of Senior Services provides free one-on-one -on -one assistance mm -hmm. to Medicare beneficiaries to reevaluate their prescription drug coverage and make changes to meet their current needs. Changes made to coverage will go into effect on January 1st, 2024. 
The assistance is provided through the State Health Insurance Assistance Program, SHIP. Individuals who need assistance evaluating their plan and making changes should call the Division of Senior Services at 973-579-0555 to schedule an appointment with a certified counselor. Skylands Ride Transit, there is a resolution on the agenda this evening for Skylands Ride to receive annual grant funding for the Senior Citizens and Disabled Residents Transportation Assistance Program and the 5311 program through New Jersey Transit. Skylands Ride will utilize this funding to continue to provide public transportation throughout the county and trips for life-saving treatments such as dialysis, medical appointments, employment, grocery shopping, and other essential services for Sussex County seniors and individuals with disabilities. For 2024, Skylands Ride will be receiving a 26% increase in funding for senior citizen transportation for a total of $723,526, as well as rural transportation funding in the amount of $556,237. To schedule transportation or obtain additional information about Skylands Ride, call 973-579-0480. And the only other thing that I have is, um, you know, we have been using the ARPA money um, to help, you know, our fire departments and, you know, our first aid squads. And we've been approving a lot of it. I mean, the, the grants are closed, but we are giving out 90000 in small business grants to the fire department's first aid squads. And we had uh, 400000 in equipment grants for the same thing. So it was a very good turnout. That's it. Very nice. Thank you much. Um, Commissioner Fantasia is not here tonight. Um, she had a family medical issue, so she could not make that. But I will be reading her report, but it's going to be a little downsized. Um, <laughs> so anyway, mosquito-borne disease surveillance. A total of 630 pools of adult, of adult mosquitoes have been submitted for mosquito-borne disease testing for the 2023 mosquito season, which began in May. Since the beginning of August, a total of 29 pools have tested positive for West Nile virus, one pool for Jamestown Canyon virus, and one pool for La Crosse encephalitis. Did I get that right? Ooh, <laughs> With the cooler temperatures at night, mosquito activity is down overall, but mosquitoes are not completely gone. Um, one aerial application for control of immature larva mosquitoes was conducted on Tuesday, October 3rd, in response to a recent rainfall coupled with warmer temperatures. A total of 1,000 acres were treated with this one application. Shorter days and cooler temperatures will also decrease mosquito larva activity even in the county continues to receive, even if the county receives uh, rainfall. That's all we have for Dawn. Um, there was a, a gentleman here last week, he's not here tonight, but he asked a question, so I'll just read it out loud and maybe when he comes, if he comes next meeting. Uh, he asked about uh, Bridge H-05, which is in Hampton. Um, he brought up the, the timing when that was going to happen. So Hampton, it's in Hampton Township uh, by Kim Thinney High School. This work will commence at their earliest sometime in the spring of 24 and during the high school's normal spring break. And if that doesn't work due to um, weather or other circumstances, materials and whatnot, it will happen in the summertime. Um, and that work is to be performed to just to replace some of the panels, aka power pits. Sierra Club, the question also came up. We said that, I believe, last meeting or the meeting prior about the Sierra Club. So a letter was mailed out to the Sierra Club on October 3rd, requesting that this board be considered as a member of the proposed committee, which goal, is, which goal it will be to protect the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area and surrounding areas, and for the Sierra Club to provide this board with more information as their intentions regarding the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area, since this does impact our residents in Sussex County. So we are working, we, we do what we say. Um, Harvest Honey Garlic Festival is Saturday, October 21st at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, this is free, uh, rain or shine. It's always a good event, if you can make it, it's, uh, it's fun to be there. Uh, replacement of Sussex County Bridge X54 carrying over Oil, Oil City Road in Wanage. Uh, just a quick update, the road is, road is still clo closed. They installed some permanent sheeting, uh, demolished the existing superstructure. Um, they have to install a coffer dam and do some more demolition before they can start that bridge. That is deep in Montage. 
Mr. Picozo, I believe. Uh, update on removal of dead, diseased, and distressed ash and other trees along the county right-of-ways. Um, Midhurst got this contract, as I said before, funded, funding came through ARPA. 13 seg segments of road will be completed. Uh, 487 trees have been removed. Total program budget was $450,000. Uh, next up is uh, County Route 515 in Vernon. Completion uh, roads have been County Route 517 in Sparta, 517 McAfee, 517 in Andover, 519 in Newton, uh, the two active right now is Ross's Corner and Glenwood. Um, actually, there's two more completions, one in Brand uh, County Route 627 in Branchville and County Route 655. And that's all I have for my reports. Number nine is the approval of Number consent 10. agenda. What? Number 10. What did I say? Nine? Number 10, I'm sorry. Yeah. Approval of consent agenda. There is none. Eleven's approval minutes from our regular meeting September 27th. 2023, motion to approve the minutes from a regular meeting. So moved. Commissioner Space, have a second. Second. Commissioner Hayden, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same carries. Number 12, yeah, we have an or ordinance A. This is an introduction for first reading, ordinance 23 09, ordinance establishing a mid block crosswalk on Sussex County Route 644 at a point approximately 1,320 feet west of Church Street at plus or minus mile marker 0 0.79 within the township of Vernon. I got a motion to adopt this ordinance on first reading and authorize the clerk to advertise this ordinance as introduced for first reading and also post the same on bulletin board in the lobby of the County Administrative Center together with a public with a notice of public hearing stating that a hearing will be held on October 25th, 20, 2023 at 6 p.m. prior to final adoption of this ordinance. Roll call vote. Can I first the motion? I need a motion. So moved. Second. Motion second. Okay. Uh, Deputy Director Yardley is absent. Director Carney? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Fantasia is absent. Commissioner Hayden? Yes. Commissioner Space? Yes. All right. 13 appointments and or resignations. There are none. 14 resolutions. All right, can I get a motion to adopt resolutions A through Y as amended? So moved. Commissioner Space, got a second. Commissioner Hayden, any discussion? No? Roll call, please. Uh, Deputy Director Yardley is absent. Director Carney? Yes. Commissioner Fantasia is absent. Commissioner Hayden? Yes. Commissioner Space? Yes. 15, awards of contracts, change orders, and bids. Board of County Commissioners of the County of Sussex has reviewed the award of contract change orders bids consisting of various proposed resolutions and determined that adoption of the said resolutions is and will further the public's interest. Motion to adopt resolutions A through E. So moved. Commissioner Hayden, have a second. Second. Commissioner Space, any discussion? Roll call, please. Deputy Director Gardley is absent. Director Carney? Yes. Commissioner Fantasia is absent. Commissioner Hayden? Yes. Commissioner Space? Yes. Number 16 is uh, financial. We have one resolution. It is the payments of bills list from October 11, 2023. Motion to pay the bills list. So moved. Mr. Space, got a second. second. Commissioner Hayden in discussion. Roll call, please. Deputy Director Yardley is absent. Director Carney? Yes. Commissioner Fantasia absent. Commissioner Hayden? Yes. Commissioner Space? Yes. 17 is personnel. Should this not be personnel resolution A? It would be on there. That should be a yes. Uh, this resolution, this is the personnel uh, agenda of 10 11 23. I get a motion to approve the personnel agenda. So moved. Mr. Space, have a second. Second. Mr. Hayden, any discussion? Roll call. Uh, Deputy Director Yardley absent. Director Carney? Yes. Commissioner Fantasia is absent. Commissioner Hayden? Yes. Commissioner Space? Yes. All right. 18, the admin report. No report. No report today. County Council, 19. No, sir. All right. Any unfinished business? Any new business? All right. 22 is public session from the floor. This public session is for those wishing to make general comments of three minutes or less on non-agenda topics. Please line up with the microphone and state your name and municipality for the record. I get a motion to open the floor for public comment. So moved. Second. Mr. Space. Second. Mr. Uh, Commissioner Hayden, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? 
Spain carries. Anyone? Good evening, Walter Thies, T as in Tom, H-I-E-S, T-H-I-E-S, Newton. In the dozens of commissioner meetings I have attended, I have heard nothing that leads me to believe any commissioner or the commissioners as a whole are in any way anti-library or anti-tennis library. That said, it seems to me citizens of energy and obvious goodwill. And I thank them all. It seems to me citizens of obvious goodwill are insisting the county is obligated to acquire a building that is not accessible to disabled people, to old people, even to people, uh, to young children. Further, it, it seems once the county has acquired this building that is not accessible, the county also is obligated to make the building accessible despite the fact, if I understand the attorney, Mr. Steinhardt, no one, no one is obligated now or ever to make this building accessible. No commissioner or commenter has suggested having a library building in the town of Newton is anything but desirable. Me too. I started using libraries about the time they were invented. I remember the thrill the first time I touched a scroll. <laughs> However, from my perspective, the county has no business acquiring any building that is not accessible. Acquiring the dentist library in the state it is in is equivalent to acquiring a car that doesn't run because the price is right. From my perspective, unless the dentist library is made accessible before, before the county acquires it, it is not only a white elephant, but also a thumb in the eye to the citizens of this good town and this good county. I urge the commissioners to proceed with caution against acquiring a building. It's sincere and fervent champions described. It's sincere and fervent champions described as far below standard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, Alan Henderson, Lafayette. Going to kind of go back to the library as well. After the last meeting, I heard Mr. Hayden say that we weren't going to put money in a building that wasn't owned by the county. Well, anybody who can do a little Google search will come across an article dated May 12, 2022. Sussex County Board of Commissioners accepts the donation of the Dennis Library as a step towards a $7 million renovation. Wasn't quite satisfied there. I went to the Township Journal, where the county itself put out a public uh, announcement that they took ownership of that building. Not quite satisfied there as well. If you go back to your May 11, 2022 meeting, you accepted ownership of that building. Not sure who the people were that voted on that. I went back and looked through your minutes even a little bit further. Commissioner Fantasia voted yes. Uh, Commissioner Fasciano, I guess is how you say his name. Commissioner Space and Commissioner Yardley. It's pretty obvious looking at these documents that you guys did accept ownership of that building. Happy to respond to that. Uh, we don't presently own the building. Uh, we never got it. It requires a deed to affect a legal transfer. We've never, we just, up to this date, I haven't been presented with one. Uh, it's been like pulling teeth to get responses from the attorney for the Dennis Library. Um, part of the reason is it dragged on as long as it did is we would go months on end without hearing from them. Um, we have correspondence going back to about that time. Um, and to today, have still not been presented with a document to, to transfer ownership. Since that time, as you've learned from a bunch of discussions here, um, other circumstances have come up, including the fact that the, the economy's been bad and, and the costs on, on inspection uh, have, have almost doubled. Um, so uh, while there was a resolution that the, the commissioners were willing to accept it, we've never been presented with a deed. The board has not been presented with a deed, and we've not executed a deed to, to actually take title to the property. The property still is presently in the hands of the Dennis Library Association. I have no idea what her attorney is, um, and if we're presented with a deed at this point, I don't know that the commissioners would actually sign it. We're, the last conversation I had was with Jennifer Nelson, the state library director, and that was last week. Um, I did send a note to her asking her for the forms uh, and a little guidance in terms of submitting a request for a substantial change from the underlying plan. Uh, she did send all that stuff along uh, kindly last week. Um, I talked to Mr. Tappan today before he took off for the weekend, uh, just trying to find out 
who had executed the underlying uh, agreements um, got that information today. Uh, the nuts and bolts of what would go into that application would most likely be assembled by like somebody in the engineers, the architect's office. That hasn't been done yet. Because uh, as I said, we only just got it a couple days ago. Um, once that's done and assembled, so I figured out who may actually sign off, I'll bring it back to the director, uh, if not the entire commission board, uh, the administrator, and then we'll have to figure out what happens next. But we, the county does not own the building. We've never been presented a deed, none's ever been executed. Is that the buyer's responsibility or the seller's the, the correspondence back and forth, uh, well, typically would come from them, but the, the, the correspondence back and forth. Uh, was us waiting on them to present us with a document. So we have not seen one. Okay. Thank you for your comment. Uh, is there anyone else? Sandy Hall, Lake, New Jersey. Thank you for the opportunity to address you one more time about the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area. And I thank you for sending your letter to the Sierra Club. Um, I have a package of information uh, for each of you. Um, John Donahue came out with a pro revised proposal. It's got some new uh, twists in it. Um, in this proposal, there's other documentation that suggests that this particular project could be the anchor for 400,000 acre wildlife corridor. And I don't know if we're quite ready to deal with all that. They also talk about doing things like resource extraction, timbering, uh, forest, the field conversion, things that we had not seen in the previous, in the previous uh, proposal. Um, I also attached uh, to this patent information, the letter I got yesterday, a copy of the letter that Senator Oroho, Assemblyman Space and Words, was kind enough to send to the New Jersey Sierra Club, urging them to answer your requests, Warren County's requests, and Sussex County's requests. So hopefully, with all this push, they might put their head on straight and respond to the request to have a meeting so we can figure out what's going on. Uh, so thank you again for your, uh, your good work on our behalf. I really appreciate it. As do all the residents uh, and petitioners who want to see this project go away. And I'll just pass this off to you. So I have a packet for everyone above. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I just have a question for you. Did you say that they have 400,000 acres and want to make deals into that? Is that what you said? Well, this is where it right? gets so Great. squirrely. Great. Because the initial proposal was for 77,000 acres. 10% now would be national park. The remaining uh, portion would be the preserve. And that's opens up another whole bag of lumps. Yeah. So on our website, and on this page, there's a couple of a guy named Don Miles, who's also with the Pennsylvania Sierra Club, who talks about a 277,000 acre wildlife corridor. And in this documentation that came along with this new proposal, it's a statement by a woman named Jacqueline Wolf Tice, who was a credentialed um, professor from Oklahoma University and College of Law, who talks about this project being the anchor for a 400,000 acre corridor. So again, not a lot of good information, um, unsubstantiated, no documentation, no data, just a lot of fluff. And just let me say that whether you use a hefty bag or a trash bag, it's all trash no matter how you wrap it. So this proposal, like the first proposal, is just a, a lot of fluff with no data, no backup, no real information. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, just I can take that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Am I out of time or do you only get one shot or two? You're out of time. Sorry. If, again, like as always, if you need to get an answered, answered question, you can either answer, call me. That's on the Pulse report from the last time. I'm sorry. Anyone else? Okay. Motion to close the floor for public comment and return to regular business. So moved. Commissioner Space, Commissioner Hayden seconds. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Same. Carries. All right, 23 is your monitors. Please check the county's website.
at www.sussex.nj.us for meeting schedules. As I said before, the Garlic Fest will be the 21st of this month. A number 24 is adjournment. Motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Commissioner Hayden, I have a second. Second. Commissioner Space, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Same. Carries. June is adjourned at 6.30. One. One. <laughs> Quick. Thank you, everybody, for coming.